Hi everyone, Elliot Chun here. I'm taking a look at a new Sonos Play One unit. I can actually connect over 30 of these if my heart desires in my house. It's time to upgrade the living room here with one more of these puppies. What I love about Sonos is the fact that with their app, I can play anything for, that I love to stream. I particularly am using Apple Music. If my wife wants to hear something different upstairs while I'm in the living room, she can certainly do that and jam out. And what I want to do today is show you how easy this is to set up through the Sonos app to an existing Sonos ecosystem. So let's take a look. First things first, I've got the Sonos Play 1 out of the box, looking very sharp in the black color, also available in white, of course. You can see the back here, you've got uh, a couple things going on here. One here is for the Ethernet uh, port, which of course is good for setup or if you just want to be hardwired. But of course, Sonos is a wireless speaker. And then you've got up here, it's not an auxiliary out, but in fact, it's actually a look at something where you can actually mount the Sonos speakers up from above if you'd like. And then taking a quick look at the bottom is where the power cord goes in. You can see I've just powered it up. The Sonos app, of course, is what makes everything here connect and uh, sync all together. And you can see I've got a white flashing light. And as I open up the app, it'll tell me exactly what's happening here. So here I've got the iPad, uh, since I'm an Apple user at home, opening up the Sonos app. Again, the Play One is great to use on its own or as a, a five channel surround sound system, which actually I may toy with down the road. So stay tuned to that. I've got the iPad going over here and I'm just gonna get to the menu option and literally doing this on one try here, so let's see how I do. I'm gonna to go to settings, that makes the most sense. I'm gonna add a player or sub, because that's what we're doing here. Connect to power, which I've done. Ensure your Sonos player is connected to a power outlet in your desired location. Presto, that is done. I'm gonna hit next. Now it says here I should be waiting for a flashing green light, which I have, so that's awesome. Look how easy this is. So far just a couple taps and I'm almost there. It's powering up, it says what kind am I looking for, play one, yes, so we're gonna set that up. Now I need to press the two buttons here, the play and the volume up button together at the same time and release them simultaneously as shown below. And now we are connecting the device. Don't know if you can see that, but it's now uh, an Amber setting now turned to a white setting. Obviously some magic is happening here now. And I've got a solid white light, which in my opinion is really good. The message now changed is to say the connection is completed and now I've added the play one. So let's just see how we've done here. It's been, I'd say under a couple minutes. We're gonna say that this is in a new room. I'm gonna call this the hallway because that's pretty much where I'm at right now and hit next of course I can rename these later if I want do I need to add another player I'm gonna say nope not now that's all I just want to jam out to new music but I'll do so after quick updates we're gonna let that download and I'll let you know how things go the Sonos Play 1 is all hooked up I got the white light which means we're good to go you can see on the app I have update complete very excited now to actually play some tunes off of this player here. True Play tuning though, however, is the final step we'll have to do. What this does actually is quite interesting. It actually allows you to begin tuning within the room. It uses the microphone actually to get a sense of the size of the room and what's around it. So you get a nice, literally attuned uh, space off of this Sonos Play 1 speaker. And it also happens on devices like the Play 3 and Play 5, which I think is really cool. So that way you get the crisp, clear sound based on your environment, which uh, I think is a super clever idea. I am auto-tuned, setup complete on the Sonos Play 1 speaker. I'm gonna press done here. You can see all the fun details of this device is all right here. Super technical. I trust Sonos has done a great job. Now I'm gonna try and play some music here. Of course, I need to tell it where to go. So in my rooms, I'm gonna hit the hallway here, hit done, and let's play some tunes from the hallway. Play now. And there we go, success. 
the Sonos Play One speaker is all set up. That literally probably took me in all of less than 10 minutes and uh, it was super easy and actually kind of fun just using all the Sonos app here. Again, I'm Elliot Chun. If you want to check out more about the Sonos device, go visit bestbuy.ca in the plugin blog and you can read more about some of the uh, Sonos write-up I have going on there. Thanks for watching and see you next time.